What's up everybody? CP here. Welcome back to it another video. In this video we are gonna learn the interface of Filmora 9. In first row there are six options like file edit tool, view, export and help. Let's see one by one. With file you can create new project or open project, open recent project, you can also import media, you can also download media from Facebook or Instagram you can record from webcam or record from PC screen currently I am not editing something in timeline that's why it option is not visible right now you can also change your project setting like you can change except to show like this is default 16 is to 9 is for default if you are doing YouTube or TV series or making short film then this is the best setting for you if you want to edit footage for instagram or instagram story you can use is both option this is for standard or this is for cinema purpose you can change also change resolution by default it is 920 to 1080p it is the standard quality you can get if you want to export video very really fast and want low quality then you can choose this option also if you, if your footage is in 4k then you can choose 4k option or you can make also custom you can also custom them now let's talk about frame rates by default your mobile record in 30 fps so you can set it like in 30 fps or some mobile or dslr shoot video in 60 fps then you can choose 60 60 fps i am gonna choose 30 fps for now next option is edit in edit you can do undo redo cut copy paste delete all the option that that you need as a video editor from tool you can import view sort by or group by your media file from view option you can play pause stop full screen playback quality Control your playback quality, zoom your footage, show save zone, previous frame, left, right, next frame, go to zoom timeline. That's kind of thing, thing you can do with a view. With export, you can export your video in your hard drive. You can directly upload to video to YouTube or Vimo. From help you can get help from Filmora. There are some handles of Filmora in here. In next row there is media. From media you can import your footage, songs or some zip files also. From audio you can choose audio, stock audio. It provided by Filmora. You can directly download them by double click on them. Using titles you can create titles like for example let's import a media for now and just drag it on timeline and with titles if if I I want to add the name my name on the title just double click on it and edit it I just for now I'm gonna type my name and click on ok your title is ready you can also change them you can also edit it from here just double click on it you can also change the font or you can also change the type of font like that there is some option you can also add an animation to that text I'm right now I'm not gonna do any animation just play that one that's it you can do it like that you can also do end screen if you have a huge team you want to add the name of your writer director like thing like that you can also do that If you are doing YouTube like stuff, you can 
use low thirds for your viewers will be get what is happening in the video the next one is transition there is a lots of option in transition the 3d transition is the best one i like that transition comes handy when you have two clips and you have to give the something effect in two clips then you choose transition just take another footage for for better understanding i'm going to choose this footage and add this transition in between that both footage let's play that footage you can see here the how cool is that you can add multiple transitions or you can choose different one by clicking the transition from effects you can do you can change your footage like it is shooted like james bond movies or like it shooted in shooted in 70s things like that you can also convert your footage in black and white also things like that you can do with from elements you can add elements like this low button just drag it down on your clip and just play it you can see here the the low symbol is here you can also change it just double click on it and you can resize them also using split screen you can add two footage in single frame for example just add this footage and and this one to next one and we are done here play it you can see the how it is done it is comes handy when you are doing like like uh, you have lots of team and you want to add the all the members by one by one then you can use split screen you can add as many you want the next title bar is you can also undo stuff from here you can also redo or you can also delete the something you selected like this one just select them and click on delete button you can also cut your or split your footage from here also just select your footage and press the cut button and your footage is split in two parts you can also crop and zoom from here you can also speed up your footage you can change your color of your footage from here like this one you want to some add green screen effect in your footage you can also do them what is green screen effect it is uh, like vfx if you watch avengers like movies the lots of stuff that in that movie is totally made by vfx and you already know what is this this is timeline you can add tracks like video track or audio track you can also delete them or empty them and this is video track and this is audio track from here you can lower or make extra your footage to see more frames this is preview window from here you can change your project accept ratio playback quality if your footage in 4k and the preview window is not supporting then you can make it have or one up one upon eight you can also zoom your video from here this button is for render if some footage some part of your footage is uh, taking time you can click on render button after rendering your footage will be show perfectly you can also do voice over from here and this is for you can add a marker from here if you want to maximize your timeline you can choose also from here this is audio button from here you can listen to audio for example for now let's take an audio 
just drag it down your time dial, timeline and play this one it is showing the levels of audio if you want to the, take a screenshot of your uh, video then just click on snap button yeah, right now I want to this footage then just click on snapshot and it directly import your photo footage into media then just drag it down and use where you want from here you can maximize your screen to get better view that's all it is in this video we are not covering all the parts it is just, just uh, over you this is just a, it is just an idea uh, if you go further in tutorial you will use all the tools you need so don't get irritated or confused for now that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next one